what, guys? This is something I was talking uh, just yesterday. To If you guys know Shiv, um, some of you guys are part of his stuff, know him. Me and Shiv were on the phone and we were talking about like, you know, if you guys have websites right now that are bringing in leads, right? Maybe you've been a part of other programs, you've built them, you're starting to do some SEO. Not all of you are going to be in this case, but if you have websites right now that are producing any leads at all, why aren't you making money on them? Why aren't you, even if it's a hundred bucks a month, even if it's 500, 300, like he, he used the example. Did you guys know that Apple, this is according to him and he is a Apple snob aficionado. The dude knows everything about Apple. When there's a new product, he's getting it. He knows the ins and outs, all the, the quick freaking shortcuts. Like I bought this computer I'm doing this on. I made the mistake of asking him to send me the, the computer I should get. This thing was like three or $4,000 and it's a laptop. Um, because he's like, you got to have this, you got to have this. He knows his stuff. And he told me that Apple only keeps one day of inventory on hand. Okay. Think about that. Apple keeps one day of inventory on hand. They don't stock months and months and months. They keep one day of inventory. Now that sounds crazy to me. And if it wasn't this guy that told me this, I wouldn't believe it. But if that is true, it, it just goes to show, and that's what we're talking about. Like if you guys have websites that are producing five leads a month, 10 leads a month, three leads a month, 20... Go and get something coming in. And if you had 40 of those websites making 200 bucks a month, you can kind of do the math. Now, that's not the end goal. You want to get those juicy deals. But I'm just saying, I'm, I'm telling Manuel, congratulations. I don't care if it's 50 bucks a month. It's a deal and it's getting you in that habit. It's giving you that, that muscle of doing deals. I don't know if you guys follow Hermosi. I know some of you guys do, but he always talks about this, guys, is... I was listening to something the other day. I, I, I've not listened to a lot of this stuff recently because I just try to just do just produce, but I was on the treadmill. I was doing like a 40 minute cardio session and I needed something to listen to. And I listened to this and he's like, he said, why? I can't remember the exact thing he said, but I think he said, boring is where the money is at. Doing boring things is where the money is at. And most of us, what we do is when things get a little bit tough, we go and we try to do something that's going to draw, take our attention. It's going to distract us. And it, it, it takes, it, it costs us money, right? Instead of sitting there and working on, okay, I'm going to figure out how to get this landing page to be 10% better so that I can convert X more leads into customers and get that many more clients per month. That's boring, right? That's not fun. That's not sexy. That's not at all anything that would be enticing at all, unless you are you know, very analytically minded, you like that kind of stuff, which some people do, but most don't. Um, what is sexy is saying, hey, you know, we offer, uh, you know, lead generation, but I'm going to start offering this other service, right? And it distracts you and it's fun and it's exciting. But at the end of the day, what you have going is working. And Alex Hermosi is like, why are we not focusing on the boring things? Boring is what works. Boring is what makes money. Boring is what's sexy. And what you what you find is when you talk to people that have made it, people that are making a lot of money, people that are worth a lot of money. Um, I have a group of students inside of this program right now. We're beta testing something. We've been beta testing something for almost seven, eight months now. Okay. And you guys are going to hear about this very, very soon, but I've taken a, a, a select few of you and I'm, I've, there's, I'm doing some more one-on-one -on -one stuff. And again, more details to come. But um, anyway, a couple months ago, I took this group of students and I said, hey, I want you guys to go and reach out to a millionaire, somebody that's worth at least a million dollars. I want you to reach out and I showed them how to do it. And I want you to get a meeting with them, whether it's Zoom, phone call or in person. And I want you to bring something back and share it with the group. And I'm, I'm telling you this because every single person, my guy was worth nine figures. He's over a hundred million dollar net worth. We had other people that were between, you know, zero and 10 million. I don't know if there's anyone over the 10 million marker that they could confirm, but every single person, every single person that actually took me up on this challenge, they literally gave the same advice that their person, their mentor, their millionaire had given to them because which, which was. Uh, or what the thing that they had learned, the thing that they had uh, taken from that meeting, right? And every single person that shared what literally said, you know, what's funny is the biggest thing that I learned is that that person that I interviewed that's worth nine figures, like that was my guy. He's not doing anything different than I'm doing. He's doing business 
He's focusing on, you know, profit, like all the things, right? He's, he's making sure that there's recurring revenue, all these different things. And yes, he taught me some stuff. But the biggest thing I took away from this of a nine figure guy is that he's doing the simple, boring, necessary stuff. And he's done it every single day, regardless of how he's felt. And he's done it for 40 years. And I've done it for seven. He's done it for 40 and I've done it for seven. So if I can keep just doing the stuff that works and focusing on getting better at the stuff that works and not getting sidetracked by another business, another revenue stream, another this, another that, and I can just focus on that and I could do that for 33 more years, there's no reason I'm not going to be worth nine figures. And my goal is way bigger than that, but that's pretty exciting. So um, anyway, all I'm trying to get across to you guys is just focus on what works. Boring is what works. Mastering the boring things in your business and, and what's working and making it a little bit better and a little bit better and a little bit better and tweaking the script a little bit and making the ads a little bit better and making sure your salesperson's doing a little bit better and, and making sure your customer experience is great and just doing it a little bit better because it's already working and incrementally improving that and doing that again and again and again. That's how you win. It's not by starting another sexy business. And guys, I'm the first person to be victim or to, to be uh, uh, responsible or whatever for starting another business because it sounds sexy. <laughs>